Midnight Oil with Hercules CBT guitar lesson for Damien. Damien is my Midnight Oil, the Oil's exclusive student. And uh, man, I've heard a lot of cool songs because of that. So uh, thank you, Damien. Tuning is standard for this. We got both guitars. Now, I didn't, uh, took me getting through most of the song to go, oh, wait a minute. You've isolated both guitar tracks for me. So then I went back and was able to make a few adjustments. That was from a part two minutes and 47 seconds in on the song. Just a cool arpeggiated part. So, um, but at the beginning here, we got um, our first guitar, section 1A, right from the gate, 7998. Now, I watched some live stuff, several live concerts, and I usually watch a few covers just to want to see people's interpretation. And then I, after I watch all this stuff and listen, you know, I get into the transcribing. So, um, they change little things live once in a while. It just happens. They all do it. So this is a B major, 7998. I put underneath your rest like an 8. That's just an 8 count when you see that stuff. Where it says 4, it's a 4 count. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then, so it's B major twice. Um, e major, just the standard E major chord, open, two, two, one, open, open. Just kind of like a, like a, on some of them, slow pick drags, like, just makes it more crystally sounding. Um, and then an A major, standard, open, two, 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 open from the A string down. And that goes twice. Five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, next part, section 1B, 19 seconds in. It's kind of like I grabbed one of the other guitar tracks, and then because I could, I ended up putting the other one in it. Um, the next song you'll that you'll see on the CBT, it's they're isolated, different than I did Hercules. Um, open E to an F sharp major. Basically, think like an F sharp major bar chord. So two, four, four, three, two. If you hit the two on the high E, fine. I didn't necessarily hear it there. But it's this. And he does these real random single notes, staccato. And it's between the fourth fret D and the second fret D. Most of them are fret fours. It'll be like. And then you'll have two more of them. And then a two. And then at 34 seconds. All this starts at 19 seconds, by the way. Back to three hits on the fourth fret, D, and then another hit. Then you'll see F sharp, but it's a different form. Um, I don't know if you know this form. It's, if you think of the cage system, this would be the C form of F sharp. So 9A, 8D, 6G, 7B. Really cool sounding chord. Um, this index, it's smart just to kind of let it... Um, act as if it's barring, but I'm muting the high E in reality. That way, it's really, you got to work to not do that, right? So it's more comfortable this way. Pinky's touching the low E, so we don't hear that. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. That final up will be a change. It goes. Let's see. When it changes, it's a B, uh, it's a B chord. But it's played starting on the A string, nine nine eight seven open. And they're big on these chords with the high, you know, the strings down here being open as they move around. And I am too. I love that sound. Listen to that. It's beautiful. So that's just on the very end of this part. So we have it starts with the triplet, down up down 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 up down up down up. Wait, was that right? Nine, eight, six, seven. Yes. There's your up. And you just wind up um, right before that on a down stroke. So it might take a second to get used to. So you're going to want to practice landing that. Um, and that'll go twice. Okay, after that, 
Um, section 1C, 46 seconds in. It's like the verse breakdown again. And it was different enough to where I just went ahead and tabbed it again, but you could do like section 1B, because it's through the same section. It's the four on the D. Um, this time, no second fret at all. It'll be like, and you'll see more timestamps than normal as well, Damien, because of stuff like this. I wanted you to see there's long pauses before you do something again. And then 49 seconds, three seconds later, you go, or uh, 56 seconds later, so seven seconds passes between these. Um, and then you'll hit it again, and then again. Then it finishes at one minute in, that's four seconds later, with the open position E major chord. Open, two, two, one, open, open. Down, up, down, up, four times. Moving into section 1D at a minute four in with an A major. Open A, second fret D, G, and B. Open high E. I've been doing it like this lately. Um, I don't know how you play this chord. Uh, I used to do it like this all the time. And sometimes I still do. But it's just more comfortable like this for me. It's a triplet with an eight count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, four, five, six, seven, eight. E major, four count, so it's a whole note. Two, three, four, then this one's awesome. Or you can use your thumb, which live, it looked like he was doing that. Um, that's a D slash F sharp. So here's your D major chord. It's got an open A in it, and then you can take your thumb and press the second fret, that's the F sharp on string six, the low E, and that's called D slash F sharp. It's a triplet four count. Okay, so you basically have an outline of A, twice, E major, D F sharp, and then stay there and go down, up, down, two count, strum, two count, strum, four count. Sounds like this. Section 1E is next, and it's a really quick walk up. Open on the low E, one low E, and then F sharp chord, 2 4 4 3 2. You'll go. Uh, probably the best way, if you can, is to approach it like. Because it's down, up, down. Hit it twice, and there's a six count. 3, 4, 5, 6 again. Then at minute 24, you'll hear some of these again. This is just kind of a random thing. Uh, fourth fret D, four times. And then ring, rest. E major, eight times. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Times two. Just like we did at the end of section 1C. Moving on to page three. Minute 42, we have section 1D played one time, no star. And then in place of that, you're going to see this D major chord. And on your strumming, as well as the strum markers, you'll see some darker ones. That's accenting harder. He's accenting in a three count. In other words... I think of it as... One, two, three, 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 four. Important that you get that because the band is also playing with the accents in there. It's creating an odd count, right? Because it's a three count accent. But the timing's not odd. So that's why I highlighted those because if I don't, you're just going to go. That's a lot different than going. You know what I mean? So, good stuff. Section 1D, again, no star. And then at 2 minutes, 2 seconds, we're back to the D slash F sharp. That's where uh, I'm choosing to use a thumb. You'll strum it, 4 count, and then go down, up, down. So it's... 
206, which I believe is the other guitar track, but we could catch it as a single guitar, so I, we did. Um, section 2A, 207, this part's really cool, fun to play. Now what I did here, I'll tell you in a second uh, at the end, we're going to go 2nd fret E twice, 4th fret A, or pick, rest, and then go two more times, then you'll see the 2nd fret. Now I wrote down, up, down, but he's not going down, up, down. I wanted you to know that it's played faster, so I put it in parentheses, and then the 4th fret A. It's a key part, it's the only thing playing at that point in the song, so you would you got a good ear, you would know that anyways, but I just wanted to notate that so you're, as you're looking at the tabs, remember that's got to be played quicker. Again. Then the solo, which is really cool. Um, 213, fourth fret E, half step bend, that's a one fret bend. And then pick vibrato. Don't go. Go. And then two open, two open. You can do that four times. Oops. Such a great part. 219, open hammer 2A. Um, and then D string, open. And then 4D, 4A, open D, 2D. So it's open, 4A vibrato, 2A, and then A, open A to 4E, and that 4E is a half step bend, you're repeating that hook. Then this next one, bend it on the 4th fret, hold it and go up, down. So it's down, up, and then come back down for the last hit. Two open, two open, two open, two open. Repeat the solo, but the double dots are two times instead of four. That's the... Instead of playing it four times, you're going to play it two times. No star. So you'll play it up to the... Or, then you go... To 232, and that's this part. Like it sounds like another guitar. The tone of it when they uh, recorded this in the studio. Maybe he's using a telly here. Three B, two open, two G, one G, two slide, four D, two D vibrato rest. Okay, 235 in, we got 9, 10, 9, last three strings, I like this part. You're going to slide it a whole step up, strum it three times, rest, two more times, add the pinky to 12 E. So it's, once you get there, strum it three times, and then lift the pinky off, go back to 11, 12, 11. So it's, again. Okay, 241 timestamp is going to be this. Just going to kind of play through this because it's still kind of solo related. It's. Then. That finishes that. Actually, that finishes that page, page three. Um, then we go to page four of five. And this is the part that I entered the lesson with. It's A, A suspended, G, and D, F sharp. So what I'm doing on this and him is barring the second fret D, G, and B. Our pick pattern is going to go string five and then two, three, two again on the two, three, two. So and then back to string three. Keep it there. Add the three B right there and go strings two, three, four and then back to the 2B. So it's A, A sus, A. Rest and then G and D string, string 3 and 4. Open E is just a transition note to a G major. 5D, 3B, 4G, 5D. And 
that's D, G, B, D, B, G, D, B. Same picking over this, 4D, 2G, 3B. Play it the same way. And then start it over, it's three times. One of my favorite parts. Very, very cool sounding. Three times, and then after the third time, 2A, 3B, 2G, open D. As a matter of fact, when you get to the 3B, you're going to go B, G, D two times. And then end on the B string. And then go to an E major chord. 2D, open B, 1G, 2D. Do that th two times. Ending on the B string. So those last two are... And then D with the B, but this time it's 2A, 3B, 2G, hitting the 2A, and then B, G, A, B, sounds like this. And then ending with the G chord, 5, 4, 3, D, G, and B, and we're going to pick it just like last time. And it does it twice, so it's marked with double dots. 313, we have some repeats. Um, 334, it's a D chord, open A and D, 2G, 3B. Just let it ring. Okay, section 2C, this is clean. It's a B major bar, 7, 9, 9, 8, 7, 7. You're going to strum four times. And then open A, I love this, 9th fret D, G, and B barred. And then strum it again right back to the B but I do need to hear the count of this so this is at 343 let's move up to there we're approaching the reverse solo here here it is all right yep the sound of the it's such a oils thing and then up down up and with an open a which is just a transition note it's not a big deal if you had to hit the a and d open you just want to give that 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 you could just play the same chord there but point is 14 times of that then after 14 of those go 7999 nine, nine, open open I love this as well now the way I play it third finger is pressing A and D pinky's doing the G kind of cheating finger wise not cheating but just a different way to do it rather than try to cram in three fingers it's actually harder to do you know for me so so cool that rings out then second guitar parts um at the beginning you'll have 11 12 11 it'll go down 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 up down so it's adding that 12th fret e down, up, change. Down, up, down, change. Up, down, up, and then repeat it. So. Nine seconds in, 8G. Down, down, up, down, down, up, and then half step bend. Or, And then 11, 9, 11 on the D. Er. Er. And then that's going to go two times.
Yeah. There it is. Need pause markers there on the bend and the hit after. There we go. That'll totally make sense now when you see the tabs. And then uh, 9119 DAD. Or, like that. 213 is the F sharp major bar. Down, 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 up, down, up four times. Top of page five. Last page 221. Two open, two three. It's a D with the B bass starting on the A string. Down, 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 up, down, change to E. Up, 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 down, up again. Love that part. Do it again. Back to that D. And it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, change to E. It goes. Eight times on each. And then two, four, four, A, D, and G. Just a B power chord with the octave in it. Triplets, four times. Reverse solo at 350. This is going to sound different, obviously, but I'm just going to kind of run through it. Three fifty four. Step and a half bend, 407, and then 12th fret B, step and a half, four fourteen. Four G open E, volume swell, and there you have it. Killer song. One of my favorites right now.